Well, hello and good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. We have a beer. This beer is from the Sam Adams Imperial Beer Series. Uh, it's 10% alcohol by volume. This is Sam Adams Wee Heavy. So, what do we got back here? Oh, excuse me. We have these R. Wow. We have these are a Scottish, a Scottish ale, um, usually fairly high in in malt. Um, yeah, that's the layman's drop of it, not the full definition. People like the layman's drops more, so there's the layman's drops. Anyway, back here. Inspired by the traditional Scotch ales, this has a deep, intense flavor from its dark roasted malts. The addition of peat smoked malt adds a unique flavor of the Highland to this complex brew. Okay. So he's saying there's peat in here, which should make it smoky. And he's also saying there's dark roasted malts. Yeah, looks like there's peat and dark roasted malt in this. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Um, brown head. Deep, deep, deep ruby red. Um, almost to mahogany brown, in all honesty. It's just so dark, it's not even funny. Um, in reality, this is one of those beers that if this was brought out to me blind, I didn't know what it was, I would have thought this was a porter going into this. Just by the look of it. It ha it has the, uh, it looks like it has the body of a porter. It looked like it as I poured it. It doesn't have a good head staying, but I mean at 10% alcohol you don't expect head to stay around. So I mean head retention is horrible. Um, you notice that I've been speaking horribly in these solo reviews? It's like I need the guys around me to make me use my brain. Or it's because I'm home alone and I don't have anything better to do than drink this beer. Um, but no head retention. Very dark color, dark head. Um, but I would have guessed this would have been a porter if I didn't know that it was a wee heavy. Out of the bottle, it just smells like Malta. Um, Malta is a malt drink, and that's what it smells like. It smells like malt. Nothing but malt. Very sweet, very robust. Um, it's dark roasted malt. I'm not getting that out of the bottle, and it says there's peat in here. I'm not getting that out of the bottle either. There's no real roastiness on the nose. There's no real smokiness on the nose from the bottle. Out of the glass. Out of the glass, it's it's pretty much the same. It's not as it's not as condensed. You're not getting just malt. You do get a little bit of roastiness out of the glass. You weren't getting it out of the bottle. A little tiny bit of roastiness and the malt. Not quite as sweet as when you get it out of the bottle. Still now, it's been open for a while. Just malta. Um, let's try it. Cheers, boys and squirrels. Now, we heavies are, his, are notorious for not being the greatest balanced beers. Uh, I am a malt maniac. I love my malt. I usually enjoy a wee heavy quite a bit. I'm not too fond with this one because there's no balance in it at all, really. Um, super sweet malty taste. There is a roastiness on that malt as well. Roastiness is subtle, it keeps that super sweetness from just completely overpowering you. Um, talks about peat. There might be some peat moss in here. 
Oh, it's peat smoked mold. Well, that that's even worse. Uh, there's no smoke in here that I'm detecting. There is something that could be considered peat moss, which, I mean, peat smoked malt could still give off a peat moss taste. But it's just so subtle as well that it's not it's not worth mentioning, other than just to say that it's there. Uh, so yeah, you're basically just getting super sweet malts and a little bit of roastiness. Um, and a tiny, tiny touch of smokiness. If it wasn't for the roastiness, this would be actually actually unbearable to me. Uh, the smokiness does cut down the uh, the sweetness. It's 10% alcohol. It doesn't really give you an alcohol astringency. That's a plus. But it does kind of give you cotton mouth after each mouthful. I mean, that's my third mouthful or so, and my mouth is completely dry after each one. Real complaints here. Real complaints being cotton mouth after each sip and no balance. Only two real staying points here. The bottle was cheap enough in the States that I could buy it again. The uh, ABV is high enough that I could buy it again. The alcohol burn is low enough that I could make my wife think she was just drinking like a 4% alcohol stout. But it's not very tasty. It's not something I want to drink again. It's not something that I would want to share with a friend. It's not, it's not something I even would want to have to make the Honey Monster drink. Let's put it that way. The Honey Monster came over here. I'd feel bad giving him this to drink. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 10. Um, it does hit the representation of a Wee Heavy. It just... It's not for me. It really isn't. Um, some Sam Adams products I love. Some Sam Adams products I don't like. This is a Samuel Adams product I don't like. Uh, a lot of you out there will probably like it. That's great. There's more of it for you because I'm not buying any of it. Um, for those of you that have had it like usual, tell me what you think. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for uh, watching us on JTV. Thank you for being part of the Facebook page. Thank you for everything you guys do that make us want to keep being stupid idiots in the basement. Bye. I guess I gotta chug this, eh? That's a lot of fucking 10% alcohol beer to chug. Okay, one second. Three, two, one.